Why is Bess the one who got Nancy and George on the show? It's George's favorite show. Why didn't she audition herself? Why does Bess get to come along with Nancy and George? There is no reason she should be there. Sunny June looks way better on the cover than the actual game. Former rugby star Patrick simply wrote, Kiri, Team Tawaki. She some contestants are introduced with their team names, some aren't. Kiri's teammate is clearly Lily with darker hair. Kiri, Team Tawaki. Climbed to the top single-handedly in Biggest Cheater. Kiri won a competition called Biggest Cheater, yet nobody suspects her of cheating in this game. Kiri and her partner are introduced together, while Patrick and his partner are introduced separately. This is Patrick's introduction. This is Lena's. The game tries to trick players into thinking they made more than one picture by moving the picture slightly to the right. Game teases us with fake picture of Nancy. Lena and Patrick face the camera together, but Nancy and George stand butt to butt. Nancy's butt. The competition hasn't even started yet, and we already know which teams are making it to the final three. My personal favorite, George Fane. The announcer is playing favorites. Considering that she sends the text messages, this is a major conflict of interest. Okay, I'm Sunny. I'm the line producer. Why is the line producer acting like the show's host? Those are two separate jobs. Why doesn't this reality TV show have a host? The game pretends the points actually matter when they don't. You can still win coming in second or third once in a while. Why do people turn to look at Nancy here? Sonny has this artifact before the competition starts. Where did he get it? This puzzle. The first two challenges are playing with trains and picking flowers. This is a boring reality TV show. Why doesn't George help with this puzzle? A cow, I have picked thou. Nancy knows the name of this plant without being told. Lena and Patrick argue off screen to save on animation. Why did Lena want Patrick to use the kayak at the start of the game? The kayaking challenge doesn't start until much later on. Why would Sunny have a different copy of the rules than the contestants? According to Lena, if someone is seen in the producer area, they are automatically disqualified, no matter who sees them. Later on, she says, I saw you in the out-of-bounds area. Lena doesn't use this information to get Nancy disqualified, not even when she and Nancy are in the final three. Nancy is the only one with the clue to the shearing lock puzzle. How does anyone else solve it? Need to earn more points first. I can't go below 50. That's an arbitrary rule. Nancy knows the 50 points rule before reading about it in the rule book. The 50 points rule doesn't apply if you use a deduct card on your own team. Why don't any of the other teams buy the 50 points card? It's the only useful item in the store. Why would anyone ever spend their points? That's just asking to be eliminated. Raid and Monster reuse from Game 24. There are only three plants here, but there are ten teams searching for plants. How do the other seven teams solve the challenge? How does Nancy's team have 20 points already? They haven't done anything yet. Why does the Puzzle Palace have displays for natural disasters? We never see any of the other teams. Alright, let's start looking for those plants. You do the footwork, and I'll research where they might be. George wants to research while Nancy does footwork, even though Nancy is the one who's good at research and George is the one who's good at sports. George never tells you the results of her research. George's research does not involve reading the book about plants that Sonny left in their tent. George is an awful teammate. Can't talk. Call me if you need anything. George can't talk, so she wants you to call. George knows that talking is part of phone calls, right? The title page is located in the middle of the book. In real life, the title page is always located on the right page, never the left. These clues are not helpful for locating or sorting the plants. This thin pamphlet has dozens of pages we can't read. There's a space between pre and arrival, but not between pre and approved. Telling contestants they can only bring pre-approved items is useless, without giving them a list of accepted items. Telling contestants they can only bring pre-approved items is useless, after all the contestants have already arrived. The rules say all handheld devices are prohibited, but George gets to use a tablet. The rules say if your teammate is injured, you can either go solo or quit the competition. Picking a replacement is not an option, but when George is injured, she is replaced with Bess. 
The rules say each team gets their own room in the Puzzle Palace, but that's impossible because there's only one room in the building. The winning team is the one who returns their medallion and has the most points. What happens if a team gets their medallion, but they don't have the most points? What's the point of getting medallions if the points determine who wins? Winning a round of Monster gets your team 20 points. Nancy could easily win the competition by ignoring the challenges and playing Monster non-stop. Imagine the scenario. The last place team places their medallion second. This should net them 90 points, taking them out of last place. But according to the rules, they're automatically disqualified. These are bad rules. The rules say the challenge notification tells you the value of the points. <laughs> That's not true. Not all of the teams are present in the confessionals. Lean said we're going to be on TV, and I said should I pack? Lena signed Patrick up for this competition without telling him first. Lena is a jerk. Pretty much everyone in this game regularly ignores what Nancy says in favor of talking about unrelated things. What happens when multiple teams want to use the puzzle palace at the same time? When Nancy solves the puzzle, the solution stays on the board where all the other teams can see it. Find the difference puzzle reused from previous games. Unscramble letters to spell a word puzzle reused from Tomb of the Lost Queen. It's a plot point that Patrick's team and Curious team are here, but we don't see them. Where did George come from? If Nancy had been on that bridge, she'd have gotten a second chance. Why didn't George get one? With the loss of such a brave young woman from this season's cast. Luck Game tries to trick players into thinking George is really dead. Pacific Run uses their red logo in the corner of their red logo. Pacific Run uses the letters being carved out sound effect even when they don't play the letter animation. This is the only act of sabotage the culprit does. The game will proceed to ignore the mystery for the next three hours in favor of aliens. Which reminds me, I have a producer feed. So I just have to go to the television over there to hear them? The television contains pre-recorded confessions. It is not a producer feed. Where did George get the key to the producer area? She has very limited mobility right now. This is a lot to do alone. George says this like she didn't sit on her butt and do nothing for the entire competition. No matter what, we're going to win for you, and we'll find out what happened with- This is a lot to do alone. Earlier, Nancy referenced that she's working with Bess. George didn't pick up on this. George spends most of the game asleep to save on animation. What is that thing at the bottom of the screen? I'm going to die here. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. The announcer waits five seconds before responding to Bess's statement. This scene of Bess in the confessional is not included in Bess's confessionals. You do know that George is the cautious, capable one. It looks pretty dangerous. You sure you want to do this? Uh, more than I've wanted to do anything. George insisted on using the bridge when Nancy warned her it was unsafe. She is not a cautious person. You do know that George is the cautious, capable one. Also, George is way too useless to be considered capable. Sorry, I'm looking at Sonny. Sonny is not within eye shot. I can almost picture him with a puppy, and it's perfect. The game does not show us a picture of Sonny with a puppy. You can get texts from Bess and George, even if you're standing right next to them. Nancy doesn't remember any of the times she's seen Sonny June before. Nancy doesn't talk to Sonny about any of the places he's been. Talking to him about former culprits would have been fun. This puzzle. Rules. Too many rules. Seriously, the show has two pages of rules. What's Bess up to? Hanging out in the producer area, I think. Saying strange things to Sonny and then running away. The producer area is off limits. Very off limits. Is Bess trying to get disqualified? How is Bess meeting Sonny in the producer area? He spends all of his time near Kiri. Why does this game have so many Bess and George phone conversations? They are here in person. I don't want to talk to them on the phone. The announcer talks during some confessions, but not others. I think I need your help researching. Can you do that? 
Nancy! I'm scandalized. It could get us kicked off the show. The show rules say nothing about this. The game mistakenly assumes I care about aliens. Sonny hijacks a TV show because his grandpa said there are artifacts here which can be used to contact aliens. This is literally the plot of the game. It is so stupid it hurts. Nancy follows a scavenger hunt to fabulous treasure cliche. Who built the artifacts? Who hid the artifacts? Why did they do this? How does Grandpa Jin know where all the artifacts are? Why doesn't Grandpa Jin get the artifacts himself? Why does Grandpa Jin think George and her athletic skills are needed to find the artifacts? They're not. How did Grandpa Jin know ahead of time that the rope bridge would collapse? My powers are useless here. Powers? So what if I call them powers? Read a book once in a while! Is there a book about Bess flirting with hot guys? Because that would be way more interesting than this game. Can't make friends. Bess tried to make friends with the other contestants? When did that happen? I don't even know how to hold a conversation for a minute. Bess says this as part of a minute-long conversation. The game keeps bouncing back and forth between Bess's only talent is being fun and Bess's only talent is flirting. This comic is wrong in saying code breaking is part of this puzzle. How does Nancy think Lena and Patrick won't notice her going into the producer's area? They're literally right there. Ask Sonny if this means anything to him. See how he reacts. Nancy doesn't tell Lena how Sonny reacted. What's it like dating a local celebrity? You don't need to add that local modifier. This is an international competition, so yes, using the word local is justified. It's a profound thought. Can you write it down? Okay. Nancy doesn't write down any of Patrick's profound thoughts when he asks her to. Nancy is a jerk. Well, I've seen aliens, but believing in aliens seems more involved. You've seen aliens? Well, just a little. Sure, let's not follow up on this. Same with Aaron. I heard she tried to save George. She did. Aaron was injured on the rocks, just like George. Why doesn't she get a recovery tent? So, what's the overall plan? Yes, McLeod. Who's McLeod? Apparently, he trashed the travel paperwork for the actual crew. How are they filming the show if none of the crew members besides Sonny are here? He went skiing, he died. What? Later, in a boat thing. Unrelated. Normal people don't talk like that. Why did you dedicate your life to being on trashy TV? If you think this show is trashy, Nancy, why did you agree to be on it? Okay, I'm ready to work with you. You won't regret this. You'll regret something else. What? Nancy ignores this culprit giveaway. What was the point of Sonny spreading his papers all over New Zealand for Nancy to find? Why not save time and give her all of them at the start? Do you believe in aliens? I'm not like one of those Area 51 types, but why not? Nancy knows Sonny runs an alien organization, but she still lets him get away with pretending he doesn't believe in them. Don't tell him it came from me. Lena wanted me to show you this comic. Nancy, Lena said not to mention her name. Why is Sonny playing in his suitcase here? Sonny purposely withholds the truth from Nancy for no reason. How does Nancy know what order to put the comics in? Where did Sonny get the blueprints for the compass? If Sonny has the blueprints for the compass, why does he need the original pieces for it? Can't he build another one on his own? He paired up with Kiri. How did Lena learn about this? Nancy hasn't told anyone. How long have you and Lena been together? I'm not the best with time. How long have you and Patrick been together? Um, a while? Two years, four months! Patrick says he doesn't know how long he's been dating Lena. Later on, he knows exactly how long he's been dating Lena. How did round two go with Sonny? I just walked right on past him. Hmm, yeah, maybe I should try. We never see Nancy flirt with Sonny. Nancy finds a hidden passageway cliche. A surprise twist, by which I mean surprising to those of us who should be running the show, location producer Sonny June has decided to bend the rules for Team Tui, sparing them some elimination. The announcer says Nancy's team should have been eliminated for being in last place even if Nancy's team has maximum points. Why does the announcer think it's weird to avoid eliminating Nancy's team? 
Nancy's team is in last place because an injury prevented them from competing. It's only fair they get spared from elimination this round. Okay, I'm Sunny. I'm the line producer. Location producer Sunny June. Apparently, Sunny changed jobs when no one was looking. This puzzle. This puzzle. This puzzle reused from Alibi and Ashes. Nancy wastes her one phone call on Jamila, who is somehow even more useless here than she was in Tomb of the Lost Queen. In Tomb of the Lost Queen, Sunny said he didn't know Jamila. In this game, we're told Sunny and Jamila knew each other the whole time. In Tomb of the Lost Queen, Jamila was only pretending to believe in the Anunnaki, but now she believes it wholeheartedly. What happened? Do you have any proof aliens exist? Aside from this awesome belt I had made? Sunny talks about a belt which is not visible. I have to take a vow of silence. What? Yeah, for three hours. Starting when? Oh, I already lost. If Bess's challenge was to stop talking for three hours, why didn't she take a nap or something? It's a plot point that Bess is having trouble talking to other people here. If anything, she should have had an easy time being silent. How does this machine know to open Nancy's panel and not a panel belonging to one of the other teams? How did Lena open Nancy's panel in order to steal her medallion? There appears to be no way to open another team's panel. Seriously, how did Lena solve the shearing competition before Nancy did? Everything in the shed was locked or turned off. But even if not one contestant located a single sheep, locating sheep was not part of the challenge. Last time, only Lena got credit. This time, both Lena and Patrick get credit. Even if the other characters are just sitting around, they somehow still beat Nancy. For a TV show with Run in the title, there is a remarkable amount of sitting around in one spot. Let's go. Alright, uh, Slate, Betrayal, Generic, Male. Slate is not a member of any of the teams. I think it's time for me to prove myself. How so? Whatever the next challenge is, I'm going to master it. Bess pledges to help with the next challenge, but then she stands in place and does nothing. Bess is useless. The game has time for a minute-long conversation about Bess staring at a cow. So far, things have been pretty one-sided. Kiri accuses Nancy of not helping the Alliance, but it's not like Kiri has done anything to help the Alliance. The password to the hatch at Doubtful Sound is Doubtful Sound. This is not a good password. This puzzle reused from the deadly device. Why is stage 3 the only stage which has multiple parts? This kayak challenge is boring. It would be way more interesting if Nancy was racing against someone instead of kayaking alone on an empty lake. Why does the kayaking challenge contain times from teams that have already been eliminated? If you win at kayaking, you get to visit the mines early. That's not useful. This puzzle. Sunny gave me your quest. My quest? Why did Sunny give Nancy's quest to Bess? Why not give it directly to Nancy? Especially since it's impossible to solve the quest without Sunny's comics. It's been fun, but I'm turning against you now. Why did Kiri break her alliance with Nancy? Mind if I play it a bit different for the camera? Fair warning. Things will be different next time we talk. Kiri warns Nancy that she's going to be mean to her during the next conversation, but Nancy is still caught by surprise when Kiri is mean to her. That explains the photo edit she made of me holding a puppy. Sorta. How did Bess make a photo edit of Sunny holding a puppy? Your light. Do you have it? That's not good enough. Just give it to me. Who is Kiri talking to, and why? Is there anything I should be doing? You can go to the Puzzle Palace and try to boost our score. I would rather not. Sorry, but that sounds awful. Bess offers to help, then immediately backtracks. Bess is a jerk. I would rather not. Sorry, but that sounds awful. This is my reaction whenever someone says I should play this game. Why does Bess get credit for beating Stage 4? Nancy did all the work. This puzzle. Kiri was brought here to uncover this one puzzle. How did Sunny know about this in advance? Grandpa Jin's comics say nothing about needing a contortionist for this puzzle. Kiri and Sunny fight off-screen to save on animation. No one else got this mission, just me. Why? Everyone gets a personal quest. That's how the show works. What was Lena's personal quest? What was Patrick's personal quest? Kiri is on a single-person team, so her team gets one personal quest, while every other team gets two. 
That's not fair to her. She loses out on potential points because Aaron was injured. Why doesn't Nancy try to solve this code? She solved codes before. Sonny had this code on a separate piece of paper before the competition started. Why didn't he have it decoded earlier? Why go through all the trouble of bringing Lena here to decode it? George does not speak at all during her third confession. Others may not remove the medallions of the opposing team. Remove. I moved the medallion only once. You're kidding me! That's not the definition of the word remove. Remove normally refers to something being moved once, as in, Lena was removed from the competition for being a cheater. Nancy lets Lena get away with cheating because she used dumb wordplay. I need you to find a points card for Lena. Bess doesn't question the fact that Nancy wants to help other teams. This puzzle. That was Sunny was bringing George. Why did it take so long for Bess to figure that out? Bess knows she can talk to George, right? It's a tie. That means sudden death. The game always ends in a tie, no matter what the point totals are. This is before the point tally. This is after. Nancy's team got no points for placing the medallion first. Let's tally the score. In this case, tallying up the points means everyone else's points disappear. The final point standing makes no sense. Kiri only won one round, while the other teams both won two. Also, Kiri failed to complete her personal challenge. She should be in last place. How did Lena's team fall so far behind? Did Patrick spend all their points on stupid things? The show's ending completely ignores Lena and Patrick's team. This puzzle. I figured out Sunny's blueprints. You'll find an odd device in one of the caves. Why do the blueprints for the compass contain notes for this puzzle, which is nowhere near the compass? This puzzle reused from Ransom of the Seven Ships. George's incredible sense of timing. Can't use my phone here. Why not? You just used your phone to talk to George. The cave was dangerous? I thought it was part of the show. See, that's what I'm going to say. And it's going to work out perfectly for me. Nobody would believe that because the show has already ended at this point. Making you pay for your betrayal. What betrayal? Nancy never betrayed you, ever! Kiri's motive is revenge, but she doesn't meet Nancy until after the bridge sabotage. This means she sabotaged Nancy for revenge before she even met Nancy. That makes no sense. You don't need to win. I need to stay around long enough to get screen time. I promised my agent I'd make it to the finals. Kiri made it to the finals just like she wanted. Why is she so angry? I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Let me guess, those lights were the good news. Yeah. The lights go off, but the cave system is still well lit. It's, uh, down there. Push! Ah! Sunny points to the artifact room, then pushes Nancy in the opposite direction. I'll be honest, this part was a surprise. If Sunny wasn't prepared for this, why did he bring a raft, paddles, and directions? Dodge left and right puzzle reused from last train to Blue Moon Canyon. This room has two entrances. Why did Jin give Sunny directions for the dangerous entrance? How did Patrick find us here? Patrick jumps in the water, but the surface is undisturbed. Sunny and Nancy ignore the fact that Patrick is probably drowning in favor of talking about grandpa stories. Sunny and Nancy are jerks. The cave works like a giant toilet bowl. Watch the left side of the water. It fills up while draining. This puzzle. How is this supposed to help contact aliens? It's just some stars projected on a wall. Sonny had the blue disc at the start of the game, so all of this was completely unnecessary. He could have put the disc in front of a flashlight and gotten the exact same result. It was unnecessary to do this as part of a reality show. Sonny could have offered Nancy a thousand bucks to fly out to New Zealand and solve some puzzles. She would have said yes. How did Bess find us here? The newest show, Detained Diva, the Kiri Redemption, is set to air this fall. Kiri tried to kill three people. Instead of being punished, she is rewarded with her own TV show. George is so bored by this game, she can't stay awake. George is all of us right now. Let's see what happens if you finish the game with zero points. Wait, let's tally the score. And it's a tie! Everybody!
Everybody is a loser! Everyone loses! You are all losers! Thank you very much for playing this game. You're a huge loser now. Go home!